And now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Kyle Dickin. Yeah, they're even using drones to chase tornadoes nowadays. Pretty crazy stuff. No tornadoes here, though, thankfully. Uh, what we would like to see some rain. Now, areas along and west of the river, kind of the same areas we saw yesterday, are starting to see some of these showers. And, yeah, if you're down to the south of Muscatine here, that's a pretty heavy cell there. Southeastern Louisa County here uh, might move into Wapalo here in the next uh, 15 minutes or so. But they pulse up. Uh, you kind of see there. got some lightning actually being picked up in that cell there. But they pulse up, they drop a ton of rainfall, some pretty heavy rain, maybe up to an inch at sometimes, maybe a little gusty winds, and then they collapse and move on. So that's going to be the name of the game, really focused west of the river. So if you do have plans tonight in areas like Wapalo, uh, down towards uh, Mount Pleasant, up to the north here towards Maquoketa, you might have to uh, take that umbrella with you. Not a bad idea to do that. But as we see sunset, then that rain chance pretty much goes away. Can't rule out a spotty shower or two overnight, but uh, really, we're going to see a decrease and cloudiness and overall the threat's going to pretty much be null compared to what we saw last night where it kind of went into the uh, at least the late evening hours for a little bit. Things will clear out tomorrow then we build that cloud cover back in especially west of the river. This is going to cause a big divide in our temperatures. I think areas along and east of the river are going to be back up into the upper 80s but west of the river uh, mid to low 80s possible. And then as we head into the uh, Tuesday and into the middle of the work week we start clearing out kind of back into that pattern we saw last week with lots of dry conditions very dry and dry in the sense of no rainfall and warm temperatures as well. Tonight, temperatures in the mid 70s. If you get a, uh, one of those showers to move through or thunderstorms, your temperature will drop about 10 degrees pretty quickly and it uh, might rebound back up into the 70s by the time we uh, get to sunset. We'll wake up in the morning, upper 50s, low 60s across the region, mid 60s in some areas as well. But again, tomorrow, a little warmer to the east. I think places like Princeton, Sterling Rock Falls, maybe even up towards Savannah, mid to upper 80s. Same thing with the metro out to the west, so maybe mid to low 80s possible with a little bit more cloud cover expected. We're talking about heat, <laughs> some 90s on the board here, but it's going to be a dry heat until we get towards the weekend uh, this following weekend and Friday. That's when things look to change a little bit. But look at this sign of fall is a really starting to see that uh, into some of our long range models. So yeah, mid 70s for highs this is definitely a little fall like, but uh, that might also come with a change. Still some questions in play on how this is going to play out. But as we head towards the weekend and into next week, it looks like we might have the chance for some organized rainfall. Now there's a couple things that we got to watch for, which I'll explain in the seven day here in just a second. H4 to the outlet from the Climate Prediction Center, at least close to average on the rainfall still though, eight to 14 days out, even though we look to start dropping temperatures temperatures and maybe a little taste of fall in sight still looks like it'll stay above average for our temperatures for tonight though uh, it's getting spotty shower or two most places will be partly to mostly cloudy uh, some sun more to the east temperatures in the mid 70s in the evening hours dropping into the 60s tonight 70 forecast here again kind of the uh, same old routine as we head into the middle of the week lots of sunshine mid to upper 80s but we're watching the weekend I'm putting 20 percent chance of rain Friday Saturday Sunday we're watching the potential it's there some models pick it up on this chance but also some models trying to put the rain shower activity further to the west. So we'll keep an eye on that. But right now, that is our best chance for any organized precipitation over the next seven.